I was completely unaware of this little gem until the day before its release when the solo dev had reached out offering a key to try it out. So thank you to the dev for this one. Trappist is a small colony builder game with a little bit of story. Its art style is simple yet distinct and is a pretty laid back game to play. And I'd say you get about 8 to 12 hours out of a playthrough with the option of a new game plus after that. The game starts you off by arriving in a slightly damaged colony ship with your crew in cryostasis to the system of Trappist-1, which is a real life system by the way. You have limited supplies to get you going and access to two ships to ferry your people and supplies around quickly. After scanning the planets from orbit and deciding where you want to start the colony, you can begin building a hub and a landing pad, which you can preload with supplies before you bring any people down so they don't starve or dehydrate. Slowly a story will emerge about the Trappist system, the planets that are there and the mysteries they might hold. New technology and items is very much linked to the story progression so you won't need to worry about assigning points in a tree or anything like that. And with no immediate rush to get anything specific, as long as your people have the basics, you can take your time and relax with the game's slightly repetitive but still relaxing soundtrack. The progression itself however is very linear and sometimes it does feel like a bit of a puzzle game instead of a colony game trying to crack how to unlock the next piece of the story which might just simply involve doing some exploring by yourself and seeing what you can and can't interact with. The game does very little hand holding so I can see a few people getting stuck at certain points, I know I almost did. One interesting thing that can affect your gameplay is the travel time between planets as the planets themselves are in fact orbiting the sun, so their relative positions can mean short or long travel times, which until you have automated production and transfer of life sustaining items to your various colony sites, having to fly food, water or sometimes even oxygen to the other side of the system can cost you the life of a colonist. The automation side is very easy to set up however, and each ship has a limit of 3 slots or stacks of items or people to transfer and you simply set how much you want the stack of a particular item to be set to, if possible, by the time you leave the planet. And with certain items only producible on certain planets, you will find yourself flying around a lot, which is where some of the challenge comes in. The colony building itself can be done either completely freeform or to a fixed grid, and it's a nice touch to let the player choose themselves. And while I won't spoil the story for you, it does feel like there was meant to be more. At one point I thought I was about halfway through, but it was actually only an hour from completion. But for the game's price point of around $15, I can't really complain, but I'd still love to see more later down the line. So if you like space games or supporting indie games, then you should definitely give Trappist a look. I certainly kept telling myself just one more thing while playing and had it finished in just two sittings. Please do leave me a comment with any thoughts or questions and tickle the like and subscribe buttons for more space and sci-fi game content and I'll see you in the next one. Kenator out.